Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shuffle Podcast, episode 162. I'm Joe. I am Dave. And this is our Christmas relaxation episode. You can see we're chilling in the bed, the yeah, recliner. You can see more than just our shoulders. Yeah, we have bodies. Yeah. Like not. beneath the torso. Right. Look at those legs for days. No gumbies here. <laughs> no gumbo. For gum- yeah, no right. gumbos, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is our Christmas episode. We're going to talk uh, not so much about Christmas unless we come up with something, because right now I've got nothing planned. But I do want to talk about, have you seen that new AI filter on uh, TikTok? Where it's like you like tap the screen and it like like takes whatever it sees and makes it AI art. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So like the trend with that now is like everyone's everyone's getting like boobs or like real inappropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit. So like <laughs> I keep seeing... Like there's like the girl ones, right? And they're just like they're just like I want to see what it look like in AI, and they're just like you know tits for days. But they are they're like trying to do that. But then there's the guys who do it. They go, how do I get boobs? Yeah, like the guys who oh, get boobs. Oh, okay. Is this the same thing where I like I saw somebody put like uh I don't know what this was. Somebody put like a um an eight carton on their stomach, yeah. and then it gave them abs. Yeah, that's exactly oh, okay. what it is. So yeah. people are using like toilet paper rolls um or or you if you like if you get really close to the camera and you put your fist out in front of you it will like sometimes make an ass too like there was one i saw this morning Why a, did it make an anime ass, though? i don't know i don't get it the, the anime girl that it made was just like bent over on a bed and i was just like what the fuck is this <laughs> and it was just like some guy doing this in front of his camera i was like fuck dude so it's like I kind of want to like give myself tits. <laughs> and and are the do they just are they just tits? Uh, like they're nip? usually covered. You don't oh, generally okay. see nip. Um, but just big old bahunga junkas. <laughs> bahunga junkas. Yeah, big big juicy things. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, just I haven't seen any. I the only one I've seen is uh is the is the dude with the milk cart. Yeah. Uh, Egg carton yeah and yeah that's it yeah it's it's very popular right now and it's all over my tiktok feed because i find it one hilarious when people are trying to get something and they don't like it's really funny to see what this thing comes up with but then you get some like normal ones too like people will take like uh like one of their dog and it just like makes a really cool dog in yeah. anime or the trend before people started giving themselves boobs was looking for ghosts so you would like take a picture of like an empty hallway in a hospital or some shit like that's what it always was and uh, the AI thing would do its magic. And sometimes it would just create it to another hallway, very similar to the one you're looking at. Other times it would like, where there's a bench, it would just like add a person sitting on the bench. And you're like, oh my God, the AI sees a ghost. It's like. So stupid. Though. Yeah, so dumb. I saw a TikTok yesterday. It was, um, if you ask a guy if he believes in ghosts, he'll say no. If you ask a girl if she believes in ghosts she'll tell you a story (laughs) and i'm like that's so true shannon showed it to me and it's 100 percent accurate shannon believes in ghosts wholeheartedly and i i don't i'm gonna see it to believe it yeah i gotta see the ghost i gotta see whatever to believe whatever yeah so uh i don't just you know listen give me the facts yeah okay don't give me some oh and this episode on ghost hunters oh my god did you see that and like, yeah, it was right here. I swear it was right here. Did you yeah. see that? I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, even though the camera never saw it. We'll have to check the auto recording. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. I said, I, I want to I play. Yeah, okay, dude. Okay. And it's not until they say what it said that you understand what it said. Yeah, yeah. It's that whole like brain thing, right? It's like the Laurel Yanny thing. You can hear it both ways. If you're thinking Laurel, you're thinking Yanny. Um, Stupid shit. Stupid. But also the the thing that bothers me about like ghost hunters and shit like that is the like the background music that they play during the episode. It's like if they hear something or get spooked by something, it was just like at that moment the music like bleh, to like give you to get a reaction out of you too. But like it makes it impossible to hear anything that they may have heard. Yeah, because they didn't hear anything. Because you're just like watching it. They are paid and actors. It's like, and it's like music. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's like. Okay, could you're you... like the violin really loud? Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Tell them to take it down and post a little bit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> There's not a ghost playing the violin behind you. Jesus Christ. 
Speaking of ghosts, though, I've been watching uh, a lot of Christmas movies and most, not most, a bunch of the Christmas movies that I have seen this year are based on A Christmas Carol. So it's like different versions of A Christmas Carol, which of course takes into Ghosts of Christmas Past, Present, and Future. One of my favorites, I'm going to highly recommend this movie to you guys uh, for this Christmas season, um, is uh, Spirited, which is um, Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell. Oh, yeah. Their new movie on, on Apple TV+. Plus. And it is so good. It's so funny. It's so, like, heart heart heartfelt? heartwarming i guess uh very good movie musical if you like that so there's a whole bunch of singing in it um ryan reynolds i mean he's got some got some chords pretty impressive yeah i'll really touch that yeah will ferrell can can also sing very well uh but i was i was more impressed by ryan reynolds um but yeah it's it's their own take on uh a christmas carol um and then of course i watched the jim carrey's a christmas carol the animated disney version oh that's the one with the uh wait that's the one with like the regular one. Yeah. That's the like, one that everyone mostly probably have seen has seen. Most likely, yeah. It came out in like two thousand six. And he's like that. Yeah. With the, yeah, with the big nose. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. Plays Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah, that's the only one I've seen. Yeah, I've seen a bunch. I mean I've seen Hallmark movies that are that it's that, 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 their own take on it. And they're all very good. I enjoy them. I kind of want to be now like i have the i have a very good christmas spirit i would say so like it's unlikely that i would be visited by three spirits on christmas eve but i would like that oh yeah you're definitely i'm going towards that (laughs) yeah you're you're on that you're on that trend right now you are you are going to be visited if not this year in a couple years listen i'd like to be someone turn me around okay because i'm going down i think it'd be cool though like if you got to spend a night now like goes to christmas future obviously the most terrifying um because it's just a big cloaked dark figure yeah. terrifying that's my favorite one yeah but but ghost to christmas past you're just like yeah let me relive my past there may be some sad moments but like i think a lot of it's meant to be like here's how you used to celebrate christmas right. and then christmas Cause, present cause is like is... here's how everybody's celebrating christmas without you because clearly what's happening in those movies it's like you can see what's happening you can see, obviously you know what's going on yeah oh my lord this is three weeks in a row <laughs> We're recording the podcast. Oh, I'm sorry. You're fine. <laughs> I wanted you to help me with the groceries, obviously not. Ah. The packages are on the dining room table. Thank you. My packages are on the dining room table. You knew that already. Didn't yeah. You? Uh, <laughs> I was going to put that sign on there. I was like, well, that's home. That's the only one that's home. So, what sign? Oh, oh, yeah. There's a blue, blue, that blue paper. Yeah. It says podcast. Oh, nice. I just wrote it in marker. Yeah. Um, Right, Christmas past. Oh, right, oh yeah, past, yeah. Um, it's obvious where it's. Yeah. Okay. So, so you know, you're you're in your, you're in your present. You you know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Right? It's in the present, future. Obviously, nobody can see that. And then past, it's like, it's like it's something's blocking it. It's like this is how you used to be. Yeah. And then something happened. Mm-hmm. Something. Something like, like what happened? Somewhere down the line, shit hit the fan, and that made you like not believe in Christmas anymore. Which doesn't really make sense if you think about it. Like, it was not nothing to believe in Christmas. Yeah, but like that's what it is. It's like people just don't like they like it. it they're like Christmas sucks. I don't. I don't believe in celebrating Christmas, or I don't. I, I don't. I don't really understand the whole point of it. Which is why I'm not going to be visited by three ghosts in in my lifetime. I hope that I am. I re- like. It's sad to say that that I hope I get so miserable that three ghosts have to take time out of their day. I actually <laughs> see, like, I don't think I'll get to a point where I'm like there. Yeah. Like, cause like I like Christmas. Yeah. Like, you know, it's a fun time. Absolutely. Uh music is somewhat good. Banging. Um as long as it doesn't just keep repeating itself. As we talked about last week, where there are like new, like Sia, a lot of, a uh, lot of Christmas, Katie Perry, mm-hmm. uh, Blake Shelton, and his wife, Stephanie. and uh, Taylor Swifty. Yeah. Which, by the way, speaking of Taylor Swift, I decided to pop on her new, uh, new album, The yeah. Midnight, or yeah, Midnight. Yeah, Midnight's. Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? I haven't. It's Taylor Swift. I mean, it's it's like it's it's just there, right? Like it's not bad. It's not good. It, yeah, Midnight's 3 a.m. edition. You shouldn't say it's not bad, it's not great. Like, I... 
because like, I don't know what I've, I, I've listened to. We're going to get a lot of heat for this. Man. Oh, yeah. This is a hot, Dude, the hot Swifties cake. will come, and come at, <laughs> knocking at our door. Yeah, yeah. It's like the FBI. They just like that you say Taylor Swift in a bad connotation. Yeah, yeah. It's Go, like saying the Lord's name in vain to them. Guess what? Title of this podcast, Taylor Swift. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark? Um, oh, my God. Did you smell that? No. Fucking cat took a shit. Oh, it smells like it's right outside my door. Right I don't now. smell anything right now. Do I have COVID? Um, <laughs> so yeah, either way, it, it's not like I don't know because, and I'm guess, and you know what I was thinking today is, mm. is like I like her older, like I, I like her old stuff. Like there's some there's some bang and old stuff. Yeah, but some s- hardcore sw- any Swifty, if you consider yourself as if I say the word Swifty and you know who I'm talking to. Oh yeah. Then then they're like, oh well, her past songs are not her. You know? All right. You know how she did that like whole like Yeah, but then she still made the songs, like she still wrote them all. But she did like a whole like revamp. Yeah. Of like Because she wanted songs. to own the music, yeah. So then she like, didn't own the songs. So So like I I like those songs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, but like her new stuff. So is it is it new or is it the same song? And it's, it's just the same oh. song, just recorded and put put out by her, P- produced, published, produced. It's not changed in any way. She hasn't changed the music at all. It's basically the exact same song. She has re-recorded, like she she went in a couple years older or however long ago or you know the time was. And she re-recorded the song, but essentially it's the exact same song. You might like you might be able to listen to them side by side and find minor differences, but they are basically the exact same song, just Taylor's version of them. Oh, okay. which doesn't mean anything. It just means she owns the song this time, so she's getting all the money from it, as opposed to previously she wasn't getting all the money from it. It was the record label taking all the money and robbing them, which is what, by the way, people, not just Taylor Swift that it happens to. So Shout out, you know, your favorite artist, and it probably they're probably getting fucked by the record label. Just saying. So yeah. everybody relax. Um Taylor Swift is just the one taking action right now. Okay, yeah. So I like her old stuff, which is still her. But um so far the songs I listen to, it's just all maybe it's just not my kind of album. Yeah, and like the, I there I'll find like a song that I like in in her in one of her album and yeah. every one of her albums. Well, that's what I'm waiting for. Like I'm waiting, I don't think I've so there's five, you know, they put the stars in that music. Yeah. So I think I've listened to one of the stars. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know what I really like, just to really be off topic for a second. When I'm listening to an album and I love, I love a song that isn't starred, and it's oh. like my favorite song. I'm like, damn, I'm different. I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking different than everybody else. I'm different. I don't know who how they pick the starred ones. Is it like the most it's downloaded? Just, yeah, just gets the stars. Yeah. So I love, oh, I love, and it's happened multiple times. And every single time I love it a little bit more when I, when my favorite song on an album is an unstarred one. Cause I'm like, damn, I'm the fucking best. I'm a true <laughs> yeah. fan. <laughs> I, I felt different. Um, yeah. So like, I would like, you know, for Taylor Swift to be visited by the ghost of music past, present and future. And for her to like, I don't want her to go back to country necessarily, but like, well, her country days were like barely even. Yeah, they were barely country. She they, was. They were what the, what what a lot of people like now the country pop. Yeah, so like I I don't need her to go back to that, but like the albums after that, like uh, uh, you know, I don't know the name of any of her albums. I'm gonna be honest. Besides Midnight's now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I would like some of those albums or some of that style music back. Not that your style of music has changed. It's all pop. But like, I don't know. She just always sounds either angry or depressed. That's where the music comes from. Uh, yeah, I just it don't from get your it. Emotion. I just like, you know, that's why Harry Styles is my number one on Apple Music Replay. Because Harry Styles doesn't sound depressed. She doesn't sound... Um... Not that I don't like depressed people. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> <laughs> but like i don't know taylor just seems like angry at the world and i i don't maybe she's got a reason but she's i don't angry, i don't understand she's it. angry she's not angry at the world she's angry at her personal interactions with the world with the people in that the are world. in this world mm. it's pretty deep 
I think it's. I mean, it's. She used to write music just based on every breakup she had. I think. Let's so let's. She's probably our, improving. Listen, listen, Swifties. We know what's going on in Taylor Swift's head. So let's just. Yeah, we are apart. besties with her. So let's like, just we're pick to... apart what's going on. She does not like what people, how people have treated her, and mm-hmm. she's coming out and writing. She's coming out. She's coming out <laughs> of her shell. Congratulations. Um, she's blossoming. Oh. into this uh beautiful what, artist what what will become a beautiful more beautiful mm. artist yeah. Yeah, yeah she's not ugly no not ugly she's she's not my type she's beautiful in every kind she's of way yeah a little bit of a weird I'm not calling her ugly she's just got a little bit of a weird face like i look at her and i don't go wow you know i just go i go yeah that's taylor swift she's cute oh yeah she looks like you know what she looks like. She looks like a, a grown up kid, like an adult. <laughs> <laughs> you moron! I don't know what that means. Just like a big kid. Yeah. Oh, you know what I just heard? Oh, I guess we can do it. Since we're sitting over here, I don't have my stuff. Like my. Oh yeah. When it comes <laughs> to sharing the screen, we're gonna have to just go off camera. <laughs> well, well, yeah. We're just gonna go on our phones, I guess, and. Oh, you we just can won't do get that. to see the. You just won't. Get no, we can still share the screen. Well, we can you share your screen on your phone? Yeah, probably because you're in it. I don't know how the fuck it works though. Anyways, yeah, it's not. We're not going to worry about that right now. Um, you, no, she looks like a, like a, a kid, mm-hmm. kid's face, but tall. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that. She does have a very childlike face. She's got a cute face. Yeah. Just a little like weird. I don't know. Um, um <laughs> it's just some weird noises happening all around. I hate listen, I hate this room because you hear everything. Every, like, first of all, it sounds like when somebody closes the door down there. Now maybe they could be because I don't know what's going on down there. Yeah. But it sounds like everybody's angry down there. Just, <laughs> slamming doors and i hear this door the sliding glass door it sounds like anytime anybody opens it it's just just yeah. opening it up i can hear everything out there and it's like dude is there any soundproof at no. all does this installation not cover any look at that do you see that <laughs> like i mean i do i guess i guess it, it's not it's just it's just the way it sounds because it does close hard yeah but it sounds harder than it probably yeah. is, yeah. And this this vent that's behind my uh, dresser, yeah, it's to the basement, so I can hear Rachel's dogs barking. Oh, that's awful. And it's like her room is all the other way end of the house. The floor. Yeah, <laughs> like are you kidding? Unless her dogs are, but either way, yeah, I could hear her in my other room too. So it's just the vents. Wild, dude. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. Um. So I got I got a snowboard. I saw that's pretty cool. Uh, that was my that was my Christmas gift to yourself. Uh, no, oh, split, um, halfsies with the rents. Nice. Um, so uh, you so know, you're gonna be hitting the slopes this year. Now you've been snowboarding in the past three times. Three times total. Three times. Okay, so you're not good. Huh? I'm good. Okay. No, I'm like. I'm compared to compared to skiing, how would you better? You like it better, or is you 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 feel more? I, I I like it better, and I now feel better at it at it than skiing than skiing because wow. when I went after not skiing for like six years, yeah yeah yeah, and then coming back to it, it felt so foreign to me. Really, and I was just like, you. I was like, no, because you're just like on. Yeah, it's the turning. You just use your toes. No, like I would, anytime I would have to turn, it's just like, like, obviously I'm doing that now. I'm making wide turns with the snowboard yeah. to make sure. You use your whole body with the snowboard, right? You yeah. just like lean in or away. Yeah. You're just like, <laughs> but like, but like skiing, it's like, I have to like, you get a ski caught under your ski, dude. You're, you're down. done. You're done. Going down. But you like people, I see snowboarders on the ground. 90 percent of the time they're snowboarding yeah you see new ones probably well not new ones but like yeah because i mean like you could because 
because snowboarders are more, I would think snowboarders are more like uh what's the word like edgy than skiers so they sit on the ground no <laughs> they fall on the ground more because they're trying to like Oh, they're, they're trying, trying to do more yeah, stuff, so they end up falling stuff. over. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's not often you see a ski. Skiers can do it. I've seen people do it. They hit the park. Or yeah. they tr- hit the park, as we call it. <laughs> we? You've been snowboarding three times, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the terrain park. Oh, so they're, like, doing tricks and shit. So, like, if, if, there's, if there is um uh, a box or a rail. Yeah. Uh, and a, 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 I doubt a skier will go um, i just i think it's easier for snowboarders yeah, to do 100%. that stuff yeah but skiers can't do it yeah, absolutely it's just like you have one board and like the the positioning on your board makes it easier for you to be to be doing yeah those sorts of tricks like the half pipe because or the you gotta try and keep two boards on a on yeah a thing on a rail yeah so yes yeah and, you're so, absolutely and right. i'm thinking like snowboarders are you interested in doing tricks is that is that why you took up snowboarding no, not at all. Okay, I just, I just always wanted to do it. Yeah. I just started down skiing. I feel like I, I could be decent at it. I, I don't. I think. It's How would you compare easier. it to the ripstick? Would my ripstick knowledge help I, me? I think that's why I can. Why you can snowboard? Why I can do it? I don't. Put me on a board. I think it's. I think here it is. I think. Oh, you know what I read, and I think. I think it kind of makes sense to me. He thinks. Uh, <laughs> um, it's easier to learn to snowboard than it is to ski but it's easier to master skiing than it is to master snowboarding or it's the other way around what's what would be the other way it's, it's easier to, it's easier to, to learn, learn snowboarding. snowboarding yeah yeah i'd say that's it's easier to learn snowboarding because you're just sideways and going down like if you've written if you've written nah. a scooter skateboard ripstick fucking... yeah, but it's got to be easier to ski right yeah that's what they're saying though it's easier to master skiing Oh, maybe it's easier to learn skiing because like you got the poles. Well, it's easy. I feel like it's easier to learn skiing because it's it's not you're not locked into one board. Well, let me think about this. No, you're locked into two boards. Yeah, but it's just like your feet. You know, you're just. I guess. Uh, hold on. It's very hard to. I don't know. I think it was just. It was just. Um. I think it was just a little like after after going down a few times mm-hmm. and cracking my ass yeah. on the ground. Um first time first time snowboarding, I think it was. Um and then actually like thinking about it and getting lower to the ground. Mm-hmm. Um because you really gotta be like you can't just be like, you know, standing there. Yeah. Like you gotta, you gotta keep your knees bent. And right. I like, like, obviously if you see videos, people are like, it looks like they're standing up straight, but obviously yeah. they got some bent to it. I'm like, if I turn, if I'm turning, I'm like almost squatting. Yeah. I'm like, I got to keep my letter. Speaks to, much. The, speaks <laughs> to, the, to the powder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I got to keep my low center of gravity. Yeah. Uh, I almost said cheeks to the dust, but that's just like <laughs> what, what you want. Means. I have no idea. Yeah, my center of gravity has got to be low. Yeah. Otherwise, so, you're going yeah. right so over. I, uh, I keep it low. Um, yeah. But I bought it. Or I split it. Um, and American made. You know? Yeah. But uh, And it's all green. The like board every, is? Yeah. Every, anything that they use, it's all like all green. Oh, like yeah. green is in like environmentally friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, you got a green board? Cool. <laughs> like that? I'm blue and black. Support that? <laughs> I was going to say, I don't recall seeing green in the picture, but um, that's pretty cool. I like that. But hopefully I'll get to go out. I mean, it seems like it's going to be a good season. It's supposed to be like one of the coldest winters on record in the past like decade or some shit like that. I don't watch the weather, but I watch TikToks about the weather. Uh, there's like this one guy who like talks about like when there's like a big storm coming he'll like talk about that and it's always i don't know for some reason he's more fascinating than watching an old ass meteorologist on the news um so like tiktok is where i get my news from but it's supposed to be he said one of the coldest winters or one of the coldest christmases no one of, i think it's one of the coldest winters in 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 this decade 
in the past decade or something like that. Um, which is crazy because I mean, like, it's supposed to hit. I was just telling you downstairs. It's supposed to be below thirty degrees on Christmas Eve in Orlando. Yeah, like that's fucked. I've been down there almost five years now, never and happened. it has never even. I don't even think it's been in the thirties. If it was, it's like high thirties is the lowest it's been, and that's like seven o'clock in the morning, and then by nine it's fifty degrees. Right. Um, but they're predicting twenty four or something like that degrees on Christmas Eve morning. And with the weather that it that we've had this week so far, now it's only Thursday. Well, I guess it's that's more than half the week. So with the weather we've had this week, it's been pretty gross and rainy. Yeah. So like it could realistically snow in Orlando, which will be the first well, time that has happened. It's all been raining. Then uh, yeah, it's going to be a icy day. Some people are nobody's doing anything down there. No. Oh God, no! It's going to shut down. The last time it snowed in Orlando, 1977. That was also the first time it snowed in Orlando. It's like 77? Happened in Florida too? <laughs> that, wasn't that 67? Oh. 77? Yeah. 77? 77 must have been a fucking cold winter. Yeah. Because that's the last time it snowed in Orlando. And actually, it snowed in Miami that year too. That's fucked. That's the lowest. That's the like the lowest point of Florida. Um, So, I mean, that's like insane that... Again, that was like the first... Not I, It's probably not the first, but it was like first in recorded history... That it snowed in Florida, and that as far south as Florida as it did. Um, when I moved down in 2018, I don't know if you remember this, but they were saying my roommate at the time had said that it was like it was like a light dusting. I think like North Florida, like Jacksonville area, um, right before we came down, and so like it snowed in Florida in the time that I've been there. But again, like it's got to be fucking dick cold and and it was even still very north florida in the time i've been in orlando it has never snowed never even come close enough to being cold enough to snow um but this year it might and i'll be I, i'll be honest if it snows in orlando while i'm here i will be just a little bit mad that i didn't that i can't say i was in florida when it snowed because uh, we know the next time it's gonna it's gonna be fucking a million you years that, from now. you got that FOMO. FOMO. Yeah. Big old FOMO. Almost said homo. <laughs> yeah. Big old FOMO. Um, I told Shannon, I go, you text me. If it starts snowing there, I will get on the flight, come down to Orlando, and then immediately turn around and come back to Buffalo. But you know that yeah, flights are going to be canceled. Sure even if it's happened. even if it doesn't snow, if it just gets cold enough, like you said, and things start icing over, the, the entire state shuts down. Yeah, they don't know anything. Oh, they don't know at all. Anything south of like Virginia doesn't know how to handle snow. Shout out to you if you're from South of Virginia, but you just don't know. Like your yeah, I mean, your state, your city, you just cannot handle. I mean, we got what? How much snow is outside right now? I don't know, three feet. That's three feet. I didn't step in it. I just looked. Um, uh, well, out out back now. I mean, it hasn't snowed in a bit, and and it's been raining, so it probably disappeared. But like uh, the last snow was probably like yeah, yeah, yeah. three feet. Well, that was now. like last week, right? At the Bills game, it started snowing. So I assume it was like that, like if that fan was shifting up and down. Yeah. Um, I would say now it's probably like it's probably like a foot out there. Yeah. So like, I mean, we just got a foot sitting in the backyard. Now, granted, the streets are clear, but like, did anything shut down last weekend? I don't know. I don't pay attention to that anymore. Exactly. That's like, yeah, that's, it's just like, <laughs> like people I, I know that people it's... take note. Like that's all anybody's been talking about in Florida. Like again, this week it's been low sixties all week long, which is cold for Orlando. Um, there's not a day that I've left the house that I haven't been wearing a jacket and pants. Mm-hmm. Um, so like I've been cold. Uh, but like all anybody's talking about is how cold it's supposed to get this weekend for Christmas. And like I said, I'll be big, big pissed. Except for what's about to happen like this weekend, evidently. Um, yeah, what's it called? Bl- Her- Snowstorm fucking Bob's Your Uncle or some shit? <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be called. He's got a name. I know it's a boy's name. Why is it? Why did everybody got a name? Everybody? They name storms so they keep track of them easier. I don't know why they just but, call it, like, give it a number. Like, Snowstorm. This is a storm coming? Huh? This is a storm. Oh, yeah. It's been, like, rolling across the Midwest. It's huge. I, I just thought it was, a, a you know, some some flash freezing coming. In. No, 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 no. It's supposed to be, uh, uh, it's going to affect, like, the Great Lakes region See, the I, most. I don't pay attention. It comes, it comes at me. I'm like, all right, I take it in. 
uh, what do I got to do? Can I go to work? Can I not? Can I go? Yeah, that's all like you that? care about. Yeah. You know, um, but it's supposed to be like this huge storm and be here by like tomorrow. I think it's supposed to start snowing tonight. Uh, so it's going to be lake effect. Yeah, I saw some. But then they're also saying blizzard conditions afterwards or in addition to. So it's going to be windy as fuck and snowy as fuck. Um, What's it called? Can somebody... I'm saying somebody look up the name like we're streaming right now. <laughs> What's the information check? Okay. Oh, good. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's raining right now. So it might be it's, it, it's supposed to start snowing at like 8 a.m. and then drop the uh, like the low tomorrow, I think, is only like 12. Yeah. Which uh, once you're below 20, it's just cold is just cold. Yeah. It doesn't get colder than that. Yeah. yeah. So, so like that that I mean, I know that's what they were saying. Like it's supposed to rain and then it's supposed to drop below freezing and then it's supposed to snow. Yeah. So it's like that's the whole worry. It's oh like, yeah, it's a big. We ain't gonna see any ice. No, it, you're just gonna slide on it. Yeah. So that's why they were like, I saw this one guy. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Two things about meteorologists. One, I saw a guy tweet. Um, he was like, "Yo, I've been you know meteorologist for 32 years, and you know I've had my even when my daughter says, oh, can you tell people to close the schools or like whatever? Can you tell them to close the schools because it's gonna be bad, blah blah. I don't even do anything. But he was like, now, I would." Close the school Close early. Schools. Yeah. Early is what I'm saying. Um, the second thing I saw on TikTok was this guy. The the thing was it said uh meteorologist goes goes off on on live air towards his coworkers or whatever. He didn't like go off, but he was just like he gets on he gets on camera and he's just like like you guys are just like you're just bumming me out over there. Like I, I do the seven day forecast. You're just like, oh yeah, that, I mean, yeah, that sucks. And, or, or like this, that's going to be horrible. He's like, 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 what do you want? You want me to just say, yeah, it's going to be 70 degrees or something like that. And, and he was just, and I think he flipped off the camera. At one point. Does he want them to be happy that it's going to be cold? Like, I don't get it. Well, no, he's just, I, 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 I don't know. I was just like, I wonder if I can find it. It was just, um, I probably didn't. I think meteorologists take their job of guessing a little too seriously sometimes. They're they're like accurate 50% of the time. And that's being generous, I'd say. Especially when it comes to like predicting storms, right? Like, and I know that that's the hardest part of their job. But like, you see meteorologists in, in Florida or in, you know, areas that get hurricanes. And they're like, oh, like this hurricane is coming here. And then day of the hurricane, they go, so the hurricane has shifted 25 miles south. It's not going to hit here. And I'm like, and then it still doesn't do what they said it was going to do. Or it does way worse than they said it was going to do. Because it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, what's it called? What am I trying to say? It's a, uh, it's an educated guess science. Yeah, it absolutely is. And like, I mean, I took an edu- uh, education class. I took a meteorology yeah. class. <laughs> I took a meteorology class. And like, I learned the basics of, of the guessing game. But like, at this point, we're, li- we're living in 2022, right? Everything's transparent. Everybody knows everything. It's all on the internet. You can do whatever you want. Or you can't do whatever you want because people can people know it. So like, if you're a meteorologist in today's day and age, you should just be honest. I mean, not that they're not, not that they're lying, yeah, but I, just be like, "Hey, I don't know what's gonna happen." I mean, I think I think it's pretty. I think they're pretty accurate, right? Nah. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't pay attention. I'd anymore. say here, like, here's what I think will happen. If it doesn't, don't come for me because this is just a guess based on a computer that spat out this information. Cause like the further out they get, the less accurate they get, right? Like if they're predicting tomorrow's weather, I'm gonna, I'm willing to trust them a little bit. If they're predicting next week's weather, I go, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Because it always changes. You know, they don't, they don't know what's happening. Meteorology is just because they can't predict the earth. Yeah. The earth does whatever it wants. The wind does whatever it wants storms do whatever they want so i don't know you know i just think they're like they're like 
I, yeah, listen to me. I, I know better. And I'm like, I don't I'll, like when it happens, I'll believe you. Well, I want to see that. I, 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 I mean, there probably are some like that, but any of that I want. Well, I don't, know. I don't watch them. I've never seen one like that. But I'm right. This yeah. Me. I'm yeah, sure I've also like never that. seen. I'm sure there are. Yeah. I, I would 100% think that there are some like that. I just like when they're like, it's going to be bad or it's going to be beautiful weather. And then it fucking rains. I'm like, you're fucking oh, okay, yeah. dipshit on the news said it was going to be great. And now here we are. Or like when, the, when I'm excited for like snow, right? Like this, like, I'm still like, I'll believe it when I see it right now. Like when, when tomorrow comes and there's fucking blizzard conditions outside, yeah, I mean, I'll be excited. There's definitely, there has definitely been some past experiences where, because they, um, where they said like two weeks ago when it was like when we got I mean we over here didn't get seven feet but Ultra Park did yeah but they were like oh it's gonna be a bad snowstorm blah 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 and there's gonna be a driving ban I was just like okay yeah and even even with this they're not like, worried about it even, even when they're like yeah there's gonna be uh it's, it's gonna be raining there's gonna be flash freezing I'm like okay so yeah clearly something happened in my past where I'm just like okay I don't really yeah really I I mean I stopped trusting except, meteorologists after the October storm except they oh because that came out of nowhere came out of nowhere yeah I'm like, no prediction you didn't see a giant three-day storm coming yeah you know? uh, I guess like I was I was writing a paper for one of my classes I was doing some research about that storm I guess they did make some predictions on the on the news they said there was a storm coming or there was a low front coming or some a cold front and a low pressure system coming so like I guess they kind of did predict it but I think it was the severity that they underplayed. Yeah. They they didn't say it was going to be that much overnight. Yeah. So like everyone was, was like, I don't think it was much of a surprise that something was coming. It was more a surprise of how much hey, or the severity we're closing of it. schools for like yeah. three days. And yeah. Something like that. It's wow. Like a week or it was a week. Yeah. A week yeah. and a day. Just because we weren't ready. She wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. Um, so I, I want to end before we go to trivia and wrap this thing up here. Um, I want to end with uh, another Christmas movie that I watched on Netflix called I Believe in Santa. It's about this fully grown man who full, who full, I keep wanting to say full heartedly, who wholeheartedly believes in Santa Claus. Believes that he's real. Um, so I'm going to openly admit to the internet that I will. That I, as a 26-year-old man, happily still believe in Santa Claus. Now, do I believe that there's a big, big old man coming down my chimney? No, because I don't have a chimney. So, <laughs> but what I do believe, I you could I could make an argument that Santa Claus exists. Now, we don't get presents from Santa because we're too old. That's my theory on it. Uh, but... The the Santa th that I more believe in is like, and this is Shannon's going to claim that I stole this from her because she did say this yesterday, but like that the spirit of Santa Claus, because right, Santa Claus is like the embodiment of Christmas. Now, like Christmas is Jesus' birthday, but like fuck Jesus, uh, no, not really. What? But like he wasn't born on Christmas, <laughs> wasn't he? I don't know. No, I think you're right. I think he was born like yeah in the middle of July. Yeah, but they were like. We're going to make it Christmas because it was like already a holiday. So now we celebrate his birth regardless, right? So like Santa Claus is the embodiment of Christmas. So I believe that in Santa and and what he stands for, right? Again, I still kind of believe that there's a big white man. Oh, a big... A big... <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm sorry. A big man in a red suit in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what fuck it uh there's a big man there have been i will say an in a huge uptick in the amount of black santas in in both stores uh like meeting kids and like decorations you can get like a black santa inflatable and a, like sell them right next to your white santa inflatable you think there would be allowed to be next to the white Santas? I just mean like they like have them right there. They're just like, hey, like we're not You're we're not picking one. That they put the black Santas next to the white Santas. I'm not shocked. Are I didn't say sad? that. I just mean like I I was shocked at the amount of black Santa decoration. Like I walked into Lowe's, they got like a big statue of a white of of a white Santa. Okay. I almost said of a Santa Claus <laughs> of white Santa, and then right on the other end of the bench, 
Black Santa. I'm like, well, find it peculiar. I I just said like, yeah, I, you know, 26 years of, of celebrating Christmas, I've never seen a Black Santa as much as I've seen one now. Yeah. It's pretty insane. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> but anyways, no, like there's a big man, big fat boy up at the North Pole with with eight, nine reindeer. Nobody counts Rudolph anymore. And I don't know what the fuck happened. They got a whole song about him, but nobody, no movie depicts him. Yeah. Anyways, I believe that Santa is the embodiment of Christmas. And when good things are done, when you give something to somebody, and I'm not saying like everybody gets presents, you have to give presents to everybody to be Santa Claus. No. I'm saying like when you do something in a giving way for somebody that you are that embodiment or that personification of of Christmas, of Santa, of what have you. So what I'm saying, long story short, everybody at 26 who years old, Christmas. No. Or is, uh... everybody who gives is Christmas. No, I'm saying that Santa, yes, Santa is like a part of all of us. Santa is the idea of Christmas. Santa is the idea of giving. Here, know. Here's, here's it for you. Yeah, I figured it out. Okay. Me. So... It's not that Santa doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Is that we believe in him as we're younger, and he's like a figure to us. Absolutely. But once we reach a certain age, they're like... Uh, it's not like the norm to believe in Santa Claus. It's, it's not that we don't believe in him anymore. It's that he is now inside of us. And... <laughs> <laughs> it is now that yeah. his, his presence... As in, um, not present spirit. His spirit is within us. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> is within us, and it's that we don't believe in him anymore because yeah. Santa you know, eventually makes his way inside every little boy and girl. <laughs> 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 no, I yes, that's I think that's exactly what it is. It's like we we grow up believing in this guy coming down our chimney every single night and leaving us gifts and stuff, and then as you know, as people who like, who like genuinely believe that as children and like didn't have that ruined for them at a young age, like a lot of kids did. I think those are the, the people who grow up to like, you know, they are like, they are then that, that person for, for, for their children or for, for younger kids. Like they are that embodiment of the spirit of Santa, the spirit of Christmas, what have you. Basically what I'm trying to say is at 26 years old, without sounding like a fucking psychopath, I believe in Santa Claus. And I'm happy to admit that I'd say okay yeah it's a crock of shit but... it's well no well you i guess it's proved not... to me that I... there's no guy at the north pole that gives christmas presents out every christmas you can't prove that there is exactly or isn't no i said you can't prove that there isn't yeah so i'm saying you can't prove that there is correct that yeah so i'm choosing to believe similar to how everybody else believes in ghosts i am choosing to believe in what i cannot see because there's equally as much proof that there is as and is not a santa claus the argument could be made both ways so i'm willing to i'm willing to look glass half full for once in my miserable life <laughs> that santa exists and no i do not believe that i will have gifts under the tree like if nobody were to buy me gifts i understand that there would be no gifts for me under the tree because I'm too old to receive gifts from Santa. Even though I believe in him, I'm too old to receive gifts from Santa. So what if you were young? Enough? Uh, Guess who it would be? There would be gifts for those kids. From? Santa. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If they, if they truly believe in him, that's the trick. If they have doubts, you know, would you, if somebody doubted your existence, Dave, would you go give them gifts? what <laughs> <laughs> if somebody doubted in if they didn't believe in you would you go you know what i'm gonna give that person a gift no exactly so that's what <laughs> santa does santa does not give gifts to people that don't believe in him. he's not gonna take time out of his busy schedule on christmas night christmas eve to go be like well that person doesn't doesn't believe in me i'm not gonna give him gifts and the whole coal thing, that's just made up by parents to scare their kids. I think it was a depression thing. Coal started, it was a necessity back then. Make fire, you know? But, like, Santa's not going to be delivering gifts to people that don't believe in him. Because he's like, fuck that kid. You know, he can buy his own presents. Right. Yeah. Because he doesn't need people to like him because he's not insecure. 
He just yeah. accepts. <laughs> he accepts the people who do believe in him. Yes, like exactly. Yeah. Okay. And that's that's just what it is. Do I believe he's a he's a a man in the North Pole with slaves making toys? No. Do I believe he's a man in the North Pole making toys and delivering toys? Yes. But I also believe in the spirit of him more so than the big man in a red suit. White man, he said. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't mean that part. <laughs> That's my piece on it. Let's let's do the trivia. Okay. Are you going to share it on there or you want me to share it? On, I'm trying to share it on my screen. Uh, if you can bring it up on your phone when you're ready. Let me try. Random trivia generator dot com. Okay, let me try and uh, share. <laughs> Dude, I just like opened my um, I just like opened my Snapchat to to uh, send the Snapchat. Yeah, and I just like zoomed in on like my three screens right here and you just see the camera facing the bed <laughs> I'm like this looks so weird yeah I'm not sending that yeah definitely not holy shit screen start broadcast hey -o. look at that that's oh wait can i oh there we go why does it look like that? I have, yeah, maybe we. Nah, just share it on there, Dave. It's being weird. Stop share. What do you mean? Just share it on your computer. Okay, 25. It's all you. Obviously. Well, Obviously. One, two, three. Where is mythical, where is the mythical birthplace of the Incas? The Incas? Yeah, Incas. Mythical. Myth aren't they real? They're real thing. <laughs> um... The mythical birthplace of the Incas. Uh, Atlantis. Your answer. Incas. Incas. Um, there's like the the Mayans, the, the, Inc the Incas. And the Incas. Mythical birthplace of the Incas. Uh, I don't know. Volcano? I mean, that's a real thing. Um, yeah, but it would you can't be mythically born. Can't be mythically. You can't exist in a in a volcano, so therefore it would be mythical. Uh, I'm just saying, no, Machu Picchu is real, right? I don't know. Yeah, isn't that the Mayans, anyways? Machu Picchu is definitely real. real. People have gone there. It's like also a Pokemon. I, I'm saying uh... Machu Picchu. <laughs> It's not. It just sounds like it sounds like Pikachu. Um, I don't know. What's a made up place? North Pole. Okay. <laughs> North Pole is a real place. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, Alaska. <laughs> Good enough for me. <laughs> Hello, dude. Why does it do this? Oh my god, dude. Well, we lost that question. Well, we can look it up. You totally frozen right now? Yeah. Yeah, me. Okay, just look it up. Where is the mythological... Oh, hold up. Go again. Yeah. It's honestly ridiculous. Your computer. Logical computer. Of the Incas. Uh, 
uh, Cusco. Isn't that real? Was the capital and birthplace of the Inca Empire, the emperor or Sapahica, divine son of the sun. That says the that says the birthplace, though, not the mythological birthplace. Where is the uh, Inca mythology right there, Wikipedia. Children of the sun, were they born on the sun? Manco Capac and Mama. Mama. What is this? Look, you pick a new question. Not that the website's Lake. working. Titicaca. Titicaca. That's also definitely real. According, well, I mean, it's like mythology. And Titicaca is the birthplace? They were born in the water? Birthplace of the Incas and the birthplace of the sun. The sun was born in Lake Titicaca. Also, who named that? <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, we got to do another one because both of us are wrong. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I mean, Atlantis is arguably closer because it's underwater. So, Lake Titicaca. Pick one quick before it fucking freezes again. Dude, it's frozen. Dude. <laughs> Should we do Christmas trivia? I know we always get the same questions, but... <laughs> trivia. It's got to be like crazy Christmas trivia, right? Guarantee the answers are right there. Yeah. It's the same one we click on every year. <laughs> nice. And answers. What about like, how about we come up with our own? What's the most popular Christmas song? All Along for Christmas is You. You think so? Mariah Carey. I think it's going to be... Uh, fuck. Um, I think you're probably right. Uh, I think it's. I was gonna say White Christmas. I don't think that's true. I think it's not the Christmas song. I think it might be. I think it's gonna be the Christmas song. The Christmas song ends in chestnuts. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Yeah. Or I'll be home for Christmas, but I'm going. I wrote down the Christmas song. I'll be home for Christmas. A good one. Begins with a lot of Christmas. Fuck. I mean that that could might not be right, but yeah, that is like white Christmas. Shit, dude, are you serious? One of the best selling Christmas songs by Bing Crosby. Of yeah. All time. Damn it. Fifty million copies. How many does All Christmas Christmases you have? question how many how many sales worldwide of copies of this yeah i mean same thing essentially how many copies of... have been sold yeah 16 million how many was the other one 50 50 million yeah. Fuck. it's an older song it is. It has been around longer. Okay, should we pick a different one? That was like the best question I had, and I thought I, I thought one of us was gonna get it. I thought honestly, you you had it there. <laughs> um, Christmas Christmas trivia. Um, what's the most common Christmas gift? Okay, I think it's. I hope I'm wrong. Um, I'm thinking. I'm saying jewelry. Oh, I put socks. Well, because, well, I mean, according, to, I'm gonna hop. This isn't 2022. We'll take it. What's it say? It says toys, something, and toys, apparel, and gift cards. Gift card money, makeup products, books, self care items, toothbrush, skin products, underwear, pajamas. More items, yeah. Let's.
if one of ours falls on the Oh, I didn't. Yeah. Oh wait. Have reoccurring gifts to give or receive. Where did this come from? Oh, oh. Okay, candy, chocolate. Forty-seven percent. Uh, something homemade. Forty-four percent, and then it goes into gift card money. So, candy, chocolate is the number one. Well, that's not close to either of us. No. Um. Uh... I give up. We book a zero. We can't both get... Well, there must be another question that we can think of. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's pretty... 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 25. What is Lady Gaga's full name? No idea. <laughs> okay. What color is Nancy Drew's hair? Brown. Red. Blonde. Blonde. God <laughs> fucking damn it. <laughs> How many teeth does an aardvark have? 14. Zero. Okay. You've got to be joking <laughs> me. Look it up. Enter. 20. Twenty. Boom! I win. God, it's so stupid. I hate trivia. I hate it so much. Okay, you just... you've just been blocking the camera. Oh yeah. Fast. Yeah, but it was trivia, so that's all they really saw. Oh okay. yeah. You know, just get nice and close to the camera to say your your closing remarks. I'll take the microphone, you moron. Oh yeah. Yeah. There you go. This is how we're gonna wrap this episode. <laughs> Oh yeah, just blinding light like you're Jesus. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. This is very awkward for me. <laughs> um. Day Shark One Hundred and One is my Twitter. Day Shark. <laughs> Dude, it's just that's so weird. You put a camera in front of me, and I look. It's so uncomfortable. All of a sudden, you forget how to speak. Um. <laughs> You've been doing a podcast for years, and now you can't do it. Uh, it's just it's only me. Okay, here we go. Underscore David Shirky underscore. <laughs> underscore David Shirky underscore is my um my Instagram and uh eat of the week. <laughs> eat of the week is um hmm, what's today? Thursday the twenty second. Some I had um Oh, I had some chicken wings at this bar uh downtown Buffalo called Fally Allen. Um shout How out. Do you pronounce that? Yeah. Never knew. You thought it was Folly? Yeah. I mean it could be. No, but it's Fally. Um yeah, Fally Allen got some chicken wings, just some regular bar BBQ. Oh no, no, I got a chicken sandwich. Oh no, I split some chicken wings too. So got a chicken sandwich and some uh barbecue chicken wings. So uh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> really well done is it sad that we base our eat of the week it's like when the fuck's the last time we recorded what did i have to eat this week <laughs> um right well this is weird because i don't want to look at that i want to look at this right uh you can follow me my photography instagram sharky underscore photography my regular instagram is secret agent sharky and my youtube channel at joe sharky um my eat of the week is Gonna be last night. I got pizza from Slitters. Did I tell you about Slitters Pizza? No. Okay, so there's this place that looks like it's right across the street from our neighborhood. It, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, it looks like it should be Sliders Pizza, but there's two D's, so it's Slitters. Thank you. Um, so it's Slitters Pizza, and I can I can can confirm because they I heard them say their name last night. They are Slitters Pizza. Uh, I got a 12 inch pizza with pepperoni sausage and chicken and banana peppers <laughs> you fuck <laughs> um uh anyways that's my end of the week um you can subscribe as for the podcast you can sub you can follow us on twitter at csg pod that is csg pod follow us on tiktok at the shuffle podcast where we post our clips uh and subscribe on youtube spotify and uh 
Apple Podcasts, all at The Shuffle Podcast. So that's going to be youtube.com slash at The Shuffle Podcast. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. We wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. A Merry Christmas. And we'll talk at you next week for our New Year's episode. Bye-bye, everybody. Bah. Yeah.